Hey guys, so I am gonna be honest with you. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in and hitting that play button. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you do not miss an upload. Um, you know, YouTube is doing its own thing. So if your notifications aren't turned on, girl, you will not know when I upload. And since I'm not on a schedule um, um just turn your notifications on that way you'll be alerted every time i upload a video and yeah so today this video is going to be kind of like i did kind of another intro as well to this but i'm kind of going to be doing the jordan liberty foundation routine for this video um i didn't show you guys the eyes you guys seen an eye look like this before i will link a video a couple of videos of this this is kind of like one of my go-to looks sometimes um so i'm not gonna it's not on the eyes or the lips or anything like that it's strictly on the foundation routine which he just posted a video in february probably by the time this video will be out it'll probably be already march but he posted a video towards the end of February, mid to end, fe end of February of like this foundation trick. I forgot the way he titled the video, uh, but it's kind of like a four step process before you get to your actual complexion routine or the like foundation side of things. Um, and I wanted to try it out to see how it worked on my oily kind of combination skin. And yeah that's what we're going to be doing here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video before you hop into the video though, make sure you guys check out my site to check out my earrings, which the black on black is just giving me. These are the black, um, halo Africa earrings. I will have these linked directly down in the description box. If you guys are interested in these, I actually don't have many of these left. So if you want to get your hands on them, kind of do it now. Cause I only have like, I think two or three of these left. I don't know but I will have it linked down in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing those. Also check out my site for my goat milk and honey soap, which I do have a video coming up on how I, one of the ways that I use that soap. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um, and my ebook is out. If you guys haven't already tried that out, thank you so much to the people that have already purchased it. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it was helpful. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah, let's get into it. And then I will be back with my final thoughts on this little foundation routine. So, all right. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna be voiceovering this part. Um, and to start, I'm gonna be using my Radiance Skincare System for uh, cleansing my face. I actually have on the exfoliating brush. Um, it does come with three other brushes. Um, it has the uh, regular clean cleansing brush, the um, pumice for your feet, and then the body brush. Um, usually when I wear makeup, I usually use the exfoliating brush just because I feel like it gets my skin really nice and clean before applying my makeup. So I have a nice fresh base and I'm going to be going in with my goat milk and honey soap, um, which you can get on my website and I will have that linked down below. And I'm just using whatever's on my hand and webbing on my face before I start with the brush and I'm just going to turn it on. It's just a power brush. And I love that this thing spins. It doesn't just vibrate. It actually spins. So it really, really gives you a nice, good cleaning. Really gets into your skin. Really gets rid of any excess dirt. So I love this thing. And I will have a link and a coupon code down for you guys if you guys want to check it out. And it is, it's just amazing. You can get it for like under 30 bucks on the site and it just works it really 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 good really affordable and like i said i love that it spins and it really helps get down deep into you know your skin so that you are actually cleansing your face and removing makeup as well if you're using this at night so this one i do recommend only using like twice a week week the exfoliating um brush um the other one is good for daily cleansing and since i don't wear makeup that often um, I like to use this particular one before I apply my makeup. So just to give you guys a heads up, that's why I'm using the exfoliating one. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm going to be rinsing my face with some warm water and I'm just going to be drying that off before I apply my toner. This is the rose water toner from Whole Foods. This is just the one that I have right now. And I'm just going to use that to tone my face. And <clears throat> then I'm going to go in with a little bit of my uh, vitamin C or I'm going to go with my Blistex first just to make sure my lips are hydrated because I knew I was wearing a liquid lipstick today and then I'm going to go in with my Avon vitamin C and I'm going to apply that to my skin. Sorry if you guys hear any background noise but the TV is on in the background keeping me entertained um, but I'm going to be starting off with this Jordan Liberty foundation routine and like I said I showed you guys what I did up until this point in the bathroom so now I'm going to be going in with my moisturizer which is step one from his you know foundation routine and I'm gonna go on with the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream I'm gonna be using this one um, not for any particular reason but I do like it and I want to make sure I use my stuff because sometimes I just be having stuff and don't use it also another thing that I'm going to use which um, I'm gonna go in with my pure hydro lift um, gel just because this is kind of like a moisturizer as well so I want to apply all the kind of moisturizing stuff underneath everything that we're gonna do and I'm just gonna go on with a little bit I just have some on the back of my finger and I'm just gonna go on with a little bit you can use your fingers or a brush okay. I'm gonna go in with the brush to blend it out just because that's what he said he does I usually use my fingers but for the sake of the video I'll go in with the brush and he said it doesn't matter if you do it with your fingers or a brush but you want to apply your moisturizer first okay and I absolutely love this moisturizer it just makes my skin feel so hydrated so, good we got that on and now we're going to go on with the powder which is step two um the powder that i'm just going to use just because i know it works for me um and i didn't want to try like i'm pretty funny about powder so i'm going to go on with my holy grail black opal finishing powder in dark and i'm going to set that moisturizer and i'm just gonna take it on another a larger powder brush brush and just set my moisturizer. I'm not going to do it heavily. You just set a light dusting, so that's what your girl's going to do. Okay, so off the bat it looks nice not bad not bad it looks nice so next step three is go in with a makeup setting spray so next I'm gonna go in with the uh, my setting spray this is one that I found at Marshall's and I actually really 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 like it it's by Coop and Daisy if I can find the link for it, I will have it linked down below but I did find this in Marshall's but it is their up all night makeup setting spray love this it was like seven bucks um, at Marshall's and I really really like it and a lot of my clients like it as well so I'm gonna use this and then set my entire face <laughs> And that smells so good. This setting spray is so, smells so good. So I'm going to go in with that. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to go in with the my actual primer that I'm going to be using, which is step four of this routine. And now I'm going to go in with the primer that I'm going to use. The primer that I'm going to use today is the Too Faced Hangover. Um, replenishing a face primer so this one I'm going to be using today and yeah we're gonna see this is the last step before the foundation so I will say
I actually like how it feels. This bar is apply usually applying it after. And I hope I did this right. I hope I did this right. Okay. I hope I did these steps in the right order because I'm going to be so mad if I didn't. So I'm going to pause here and just make sure that I did it right. And then I'll be back with the foundation process. And I actually feel like that might have worked because I don't have any makeup on my fingers. Um, due to the fact that I did apply some translucent powder, I don't have any on my fingers. But let me make sure I applied this right. I believe I did it in the right order. If not, I'm going to wipe this all off. I'm going to start over. But let me go. Okay, so I applied it all in the right order. I double checked. And now we're supposed to start applying our foundation. And I'm just going to kind of speed through this. And I will list the products that I'm going to be using and um, do a voiceover on this part. And then I will be back once I finish um, applying my complexion and give you guys my thoughts. And then I will be back with the closing of this video. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. This is the original, the matte one. Um, and I'm going to be going in, I think this is the shade 420. And I'm just going to be applying that all over my face with a brush. <clears throat> and I'm just going to be blending it out <clears throat> as well. Sorry, my throat is just not cooperating today. Next, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place uh, I Am Magic Concealer. I use the shade, I believe this is the shade 4 and the shade 11. The 4 is the contour and the 11 is my highlight. And I'm just going to apply that to where I normally contour and highlight. And honestly, as I'm doing all of this, I just feel like I am having the easiest time blending all of this stuff out. Like, not that it's not usually easy, but I don't know. I just feel like it's slightly different, so... Yeah, so I'm just going to blend all of that out and together. And I'm just going to also set underneath my eyes and my high points of my face that I applied my highlight. So really quick before I set the rest of my face, I actually just want you guys to take a look. I have not, the only thing that I did set was my highlight area. So I set underneath my eyes, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Um, but I didn't set like the rest of my face. And if you're looking at it, my face looks really matte. Like I haven't applied any powder over the rest of my face. And I feel like my face already looks set. So at first glance, I... I'm kind of a believer right now, um, but I am going to go through and set the rest of my face because it's what I would normally do. And um, I just, you know, I, he said you, do, you don't have to set it, but if you have oily skin, it's okay to set it. So I am going to set it for that reason, just because I do um, have oily skin. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go in to set the rest of my face just to show you guys this real quick before I finish up my makeup. I'm going to use the Iman um, pressed powder um, in earth medium, and I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face, and then I will be back after I finish up the rest of my makeup. Hey guys, so I am going to be honest with you. This process was pretty simple. Pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory. It wasn't difficult. There was nothing to kind of figure out. I'm going to be honest. I like it. I like it. Like, I almost feel like me setting my foundation was a waste of time because my face is hella matte. Like, look at my face, guys. It looks so just... Like, I just love how this turned out. This, this process is dope. Like, this process is dope. Like, I thought I was doing something setting my primer... But no, we're going to take it a step further and we're going to set it, the moisturizer, we're going to set it from the beginning. Moisturizer, powder, setting spray, primer. That is the order that you apply the products and then you go on to your normal foundation routine, foundation, concealer, and all of that kind of stuff, contour. And you do that. I actually love... Uh, 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 how this turned out. I feel like it came out super pretty, super flawless. I feel like my skin is just, 
Mm, my skin is just shining. I don't know. I really, really like it. I love how it turned out. I'm, I'm, I'm a believer, Jordan. I'm a believer. I've been watching Jordan for a very long time. And I really like his tips. His tip, tips are very clean, detailed, and like straight to the point. Like no, no extraness. So I love watching his little tips on his videos. Um, and he is very, very smart when it comes to makeup. So I actually really like um, doing some of his tips. I'm probably going to do a couple more of these videos going back to some of the other things that he's probably talked about that I haven't, I, I like, I've tried in my own personal routine, but I haven't showed you guys, but this one kind of stood out to me only because I know a lot of us are on the whole setting our primer trend, but I didn't, I never thought about actually setting my moisturizer. I know he said this is like an old makeup hack or old makeup thing, but I ain't never heard of it. Um, I'm be honest, and I probably like if somebody did it, I was probably like side eyeing them when they did heard of it. I don't know. I've never heard of it, um, and I've been doing makeup for a very long time. But nonetheless, you know, I just kind of stay in my own little bubble. I be in my own little bubble sometimes. So I feel super pretty. I feel super beautiful. Um, I love how this routine turned out. Um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be using this more and more kind of com um, you know, mixing products here and there and some combinations that I like, different foundations, different moisturizers, different primer primers, and see if this works with like pretty much every combination that I usually do. I feel like I'm definitely gonna be adding this to the routine. So definitely be on the lookout that I'm gonna be doing this routine a lot more often. I love it. I love how my face felt. Honestly, I feel like I didn't even need to use my, 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 my powder that I used to set the rest of my face. My face was super matte before that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just wanted to come through, try this little hack out with you guys and see if it worked on my oily combination skin. And yeah, it, it, it's, it's a five out of five for me. Like definitely a five out of five. Like try it out if you guys haven't. Um, and let me know how it works for you guys. But for me, Hands down, one of the best hacks on foundations that I've seen in a very long time. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this up. Um, yeah, so, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys like videos like this or me trying out different beauty hacks and beauty tips. Um, I will definitely try and do more of them for you guys. Um, I'm definitely gonna be able to be here more often very soon. Just give me like 30 days and Brunel is gonna be back with a ton of videos. Just give me about 30 days. I'm still gonna be here throughout those 30 days, but I'll be able to be here more after those 30 days. Just give me a heads up, okay? I'm trying to come through and deliver, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really um, um, enjoyed it myself, and I will see you guys in my next one. Again, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel and hitting that play button. It is greatly appreciated. Leave your comments, questions down below, and I will respond to every comment like I always do. I may not reply the same day, but girl, I will reply before the week is up. Trust me, I reply to 98% of my comments, okay? Unless you like just say something like off the wall, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys next time. Bye.